All right, guys, Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. And in front of you, I have the new MindLab Equinox 900 on the left with the red backlight. And on the right, I have my old MindLab Equinox 800. And the reason why one is taller than the other is just because the coil is laid flat, because this is the only way I can keep them quiet. They seem to want to be very, very noisy next to each other for obvious reasons. Reasons. Um, what I wanted to do today was, um, I know a lot of people are wanting to compare what is inside the 800 versus the, the 900 and what new features are added in 900 and so forth. So I thought we'd just do a walkthrough of the menus and uh, just to show you what's different. Um, I mean, out of the box, I, I did a comparison video physically what the differences are between the two so you can check out that video if you want if you guys are looking to get one of these machines i recommend reach out to our friends at fort bedford metal detectors uh, they're getting them every day so just uh, give them a call find out when the next shipment is arriving they may even have some so if you're looking for a 900 or a 700 uh, or a manticore or anything related to metal detecting uh, look up those guys give john a call so I was really surprised and happy to get the 900 in my possession because I really wanted to see what the, the new features are. And like I said, we've already gone over the physical differences in my last video, but I thought we'd walk through the menus just to see um, what's different here. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk. Now these things are going to get a little chatty, obviously. Um, try to move them away from each other a little bit. Try to noise cancel again. So that's going to be an issue. So, so we'll go with that right now and see. I might have to do that a couple times. But let's just walk through the search programs. All of them are the same as the Equinox 800. You have a, the way you navigate is is the same as last time. You hit, hit your uh, search coil button. <laughs> Park two, field one, field two, beach one, beach two, gold field one and two and back to park one. So there, hopefully that will keep that quiet. Uh, the way you change your sens sensitivity is the same as last time. You have your plus and minus buttons. You just raise up your sensitivity. Goes all the way up to 28 versus the, well, this is gonna get loud. The 800, you only have up to 25. So there's three different, uh, three additional notches on the uh, sensitivity you can go up. So that's the first difference, okay? I'm gonna raise these back down because if I don't, it's gonna be brutal on you and me. Now, if we go into our settings key, or button, our gear button, the first one is obviously going to be your search or your cancel, your uh, noise cancel. Nothing different there, but let's try to hold it in and see if there's a sub menu on that. Nope. Okay, so same same as the Equinox 800. Let's go over one. This is our ground balancing um, option here. So if you hold in that button, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Now you can turn on tracking. I'm trying to remember how to do that. I believe it was up here somewhere. So if you hold in the checkbox, you can turn on your uh, checker minus or check plus you get your uh, tracking mode up there and I believe if you hold that button in you can do a manual where you have to pump it so that's where you're pumping it up and up and down on the ground so that has not changed so we'll turn that off so we'll move over to your uh, volume adjust now you can turn it up to 25. You can turn it up to 25, so nothing's changed there. If you hold in your uh, gear button again, it brings you into your target uh, tones, and you can set each of the quadrants here to whatever you want, like you could before. Just like you could before. So um, it's a little bit different. Oh wait, I didn't hold the button in, sorry. So one, two, three, yeah. So the same way uh, as before. And so I'm stumbling through this Equinox a little bit because I haven't used it that much. Um, I've been <laughs> using the days too, so 
Um, my apologies. Let's get back out of the menu here. Let's get back out of the menu. Let's move over one to your threshold. So your threshold you have up to 25 on the 900. <clears throat> and on the 800, 25 still, so the same. And I don't usually run a threshold, so I'm gonna take this back down to zero. All right, so then we're gonna go into, um, well, let's just double check, make sure there's no hidden menus. Ah, what is this? So it looks like that is the same as before. I will tell you though, the buttons on the 800 or the 900 are very, a lot stiffer than the ones on the 800, but that could be because of, you know, use. I haven't used this one that much, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, let's go over, let's get out of this menu. Get out of this one. Let's go to the next one. It's gonna be your target tones. Now I knew I do know there is a difference here. So you have by default starting you out of five, but you can go back to one, change it to two, change it to five, and then what typically would you would get? One, two, five. Then you'd have fifty. Um, but in the Equinox nine hundred, it's basically all tones, and then you have one additional one. So you don't have any any more. You have one additional. Um, option and that's going to be your um, depth so you have all tones and depth so you have one additional well it's called all tones versus 50 but you have now you have a depth option in here for your for your tone so so that's the difference there let's get out of this menu so you do have the option of setting your tones to each of the quadrants like you could before and by checkboxing this you can go through each one of the quadrants and change them same here so nothing really new there so get back out hold down the gear button okay so let's move over to accept reject now the difference now you have on the 900 you have a negative 19 versus negative 9, but it also goes up to 99, gives you 119 segments to um, adjust or accept reject. Whereas the Equinox 800, you only had negative 9 up to 40, so you had 49 total. So that's the key difference there. Now, if you hold in the gear button, you can set your tone breaks just like you could before. And we'll be doing this in a future video. We'll find that coin program that works so well for everybody and we'll make it into the 900. Um, same thing with the 800. You can set the tone breaks. So just nothing really different there that I can see. Except you have, I think, looks like a little bit more, a little bit more um, flexibility now with the uh, 900 and setting your tone breaks because you have such a wider range now so that'll be nice compared to the 40 that you only had here so 49 so that is your accept reject secondary menu for target tones hold that in to get back out all right so moving on to the last one which is recovery speed by default i'm coming up at four but i know you can take that down to one and you can go up as high as eight on the 800, you can go down to one, but you can only go up to, well, I guess it's the same. So you can go up to eight. So the same for that one. Uh, secondary button, you have the uh, Ferris settings, uh, iron bias, I guess is what you call it. You can change that to nine on the 900 and nine on the 800. Now on the 800, you used to have another option. You could do the F2. You don't have that now on the uh, on the 900. So everything's included in the iron bias here. 
Uh, they did some other things internally, so you only have the one option now. So that is another difference. So what else can I show you? All right, so the other, the other key difference is that the 800 does not have a flashlight, whereas the 900 does. And to turn on the flashlight, you basically turn, you hold down your display button. I'm not going to show you, but basically it turns on the flashlight. It's actually a pretty, pretty decent flashlight. It seems pretty bright. So just uh, to turn it off, hold it down again until you hear that beep. There is a vibrating handle versus the Equinox does not have that. Something else I wanted to compare here was the frequencies. So right now it's in multi, both are in multi. Change freak, hit that button. You have 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. On the Equinox, on the Equinox 800 you have 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 40. You have 40 over here? Did I miss one? Oh yeah, I missed one. All right, you both, both machines are the same as far as frequencies go. Pinpoint's the same. Yeah, I think that's it. They kept it very, very similar to the 800, so you don't have to really second guess and relearn a brand new machine all over again. So uh, some nice features here, nice physical differences with the carbon fiber shaft, the telescopic shaft, um, the new arm cuff, flexible arm cuff. I'm hoping they fix the water issues, folks. I really do. I would recommend keeping your ear stiffeners I don't see much of a difference from the uh, the coils. I think they can't really change the coils much because they, they're fitting it on this, this shaft. So, and they, all of the Equinox coils that you had in the past will work with the new 900. So just keep that in mind as well. So if, don't get rid of your 15 inch or your, you know, if you bought the 700, you don't get the six inch coil, but if you already have that, that's a bonus. All the coil tech coils that, that you can purchase uh, we'll work with the Equinox, which is exciting because I love that 10 by 5. What else? I think that's about it. I think overall it's a great upgrade to what you currently get with the 800. It's probably the machine we all wanted when the 800 came out <laughs> with all the, uh, you know, construction and um, other, other issues that it had with uh, leaking and so forth. So hopefully they've addressed those issues. I'm confident that they probably did. If they didn't, shame on them. But I think... I think this will be a very, very good machine going forward. So um, thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in another Mental Metal video.